item of the Office Special Utility District to order at 6.02. The first thing on the agenda is the roll call. Again, Mr. Cesar Rodriguez. Present. Uh, Zeke Ortiz. Present. Michael Flores absent. Ricardo Chua present. Uh, Homer Tiquerina. I saw him here, but <coughs> he's not present. I think he'll be coming a little bit later. Uh, Roger Hernandez. Present. And Lloyd Loya. Present. We have a quorum, so we can have the meeting. Okay, uh, now we go for the invocation. Mr. Tocco. Our heads, uh, Father in heaven, we come before you today to give you honor and praise. You are the source of all that is good, and you are the source of all blessing. So we thank you for every gift that you have uh, given us, Father, and we thank you for the opportunity to come together and discuss uh, matters regarding our special <coughs> utility district. Uh, we ask for your hand of blessing in this meeting, that you will guide and direct our meeting so that there is full of wisdom, positivity, and respect for one another. Thank you for helping us accomplish our work and our goals this day for our for community, customers, and staff. Pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Biggest pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The next item on the agenda is public comments, but before that, I would like to introduce our commissioner. Signing here, Rigo Lopez. Okay, Rigo Lopez, uh, our policy here is three minutes, okay? All right, uh, I'm Rigo Lopez here, uh, City of Penitas Mayor. Uh, I'm, all I want to say, guys, is uh, first of all, I want to take this time to congratulate our new members here. Uh, our side is, is, is a utility district that, that all of us here, that's why we have a packed room because it concerns all of us. I mean, our side is, is, is what makes our cities grow and, and it's a concern to all of us. And that's why, I, why, why I'm here today. Uh, a lot of time change is not welcome, but sometimes uh, change is needed for, for growth. And uh, I was once, I started here with you, where I was once se seated here behind with Mr. Ochoa, and, and there's some tough decisions to be made. I mean, it, it, it's gonna, it affects us, uh, the community, or, or it, it's gonna help the community. So all I ask is that you guys uh, try to work together. You guys don't always have to agree on everything, but you guys do have to work together. And uh, right now I'm here in support of, of, of of the change that's going on, and, and that's that's on behalf of myself here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the next uh, person who signed up for public comments is Mr. Mario Chapa. He was the president for four years. What was up? Good evening, Mario Chapa. And uh, like Mr. Ochoa said, I was president of the AWA uh, board from 2010 to 2014. Uh, I don't remember the movie, but uh, the principal was saying that he hoped that everybody showed up for all of his meetings, you know, the children, that everybody showed up like you all showed up tonight. It's nice to see everybody here. I know that a lot of the meetings that I presided over and a lot of meetings that I've attended over the last two years since I left, uh, there wasn't enough people to fill the front row, much less standing room only like we had tonight. So I'm glad that everybody's here and involved, and it's, it's, that's a good thing. Um, I find myself agreeing with Mr. Lopez. Uh, I didn't always agree with him, but uh, that we need uh, you know, to try to do the right thing, and that uh, you know, our, obviously in our communities we'll be better off if we do the right thing. So from that standpoint, uh, I certainly agree with him. Um, change, uh, I understand sometimes we need change, the only thing that I caution is that uh, the people who are calling me right now trying to find out what's going on are saying, what's going on over there? What's happening tonight? I, you know, I wish I could answer them, but I don't know the answer to all of their questions because the change hasn't really fully explained to the community. 
And, and so I ask that you try to be as open as you can about those changes because uh, obviously the board in particular and, and obviously some of the audience understands that uh, AWA became AWA because of the uh, history of the La Jolla Water Supply Corporation. And uh, when we are in the dark about what's going on, uh, everybody's asking questions and, and, and really wants to be in the know of what's going on. Uh, it's not that we disagree with some of the things that you're doing. Uh, the biggest question that came up when I was president and my very first challenge was everybody complained about the water rates being too high. Uh, ask anybody today and they'll tell you the water rates are too high. But, you know, there are reasons because th that, the, that the water rates are high. And as they serve on the board and, and, and they understand the expenses that come with operating the board, uh, plans for the future, uh, uh, you know, uh, projects that have to be done, money that has to be set aside for those projects. So uh, that has to go on. Uh, you know, some of the changes uh, that the board is considering, I would only encourage you to do, if you're going to make changes, do it as quickly as you can because delay costs money. Uh, I can tell you that when I was uh, leaving my presidency, um, we were just about ready to close the, the financial agreements with the water board and so forth for the Palmview project, and that was delayed. Uh, there were legal issues that, that uh, came up that I didn't think were going to come up at the time, but did. And when I left uh, in 14, the estimated minimum charge for Palmview was going to be $12 a month, the minimum charge for sewer only. Uh, the latest estimate from some of the meetings I've attended here, it's closer to somewhere between 35 and, and 40, somewhere around 37, excuse me, 37 and $38. So all of that being caused by the delay and some significant changes that happened to the project. So. Uh, you know, do we worry about what's going on in this boardroom? <coughs> Most of the time people don't because they don't show up. <laughs> Obviously, they, they, uh, I sit in here by myself sometimes uh, and am the only person who is not on the board or connected in business or some way with what's going on. Uh, I encourage uh, the board and I try to remind the board when I was um, uh, president and, and, and even some of the current members that I know, uh, you know, as long as you're doing the right thing, you know, uh, you have nothing to worry about because the community will back you if you're doing the right thing. But they need to know that you're doing the right thing and if, if they're in the dark like I am right now, uh, we don't. So, you know, I haven't always agreed with uh, Mr. Ochoa when he served on the board with me and I didn't always agree with Mr. Cerda in, in some of the things. But I've talked to Mr. Cerda and, and he has some good ideas. Uh, are there some better ideas? I don't know. You know, until I'm made aware of them, you know, I have to assume that his are good ideas and, and, and there are none better because they are some pretty good ideas. Uh, the same for Mr. Ochoa, you know, I disagreed with him on some things, but uh, again, like Mr. Lopez said the same thing. Uh, do the best that you can, do the right thing, and disagree if you will, but be sure that it's always with uh, AWA because that's your responsibility. Your communities individually, uh, obviously you're concerned about them and the, and the people you represent. And, and I understand that conflict because when I represented Peñitas, I represented Peñitas. When I sat there where Mr. Ochoa is sitting as president of the board, I represented all of AWA. And it wasn't, you know, the same to represent all of AWA and just Peñitas. So those conflicts happen to the board members. And so I just uh, encourage you to do the right thing and the, and the community will back you up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next, uh, the time you have for public comments, Mary Lou Provencio. Congratulations to all the board members and uh, to the board members that were here before. We thank you for what you're doing. And uh, my main concern here is we had a very good, wide experience, over 25 years experience general manager that knows very well about the sewer, wastewater, and all the water business. And he got demoted because the new board members at that time wanted somebody else to replace him. And everybody just really gave him a hard time that 
this general manager assigned by the receivership from Judge Flores Court from that La Jolla Water Supply Corporation did an outstanding job for more than 11 years. And all the people that are here, the staff, are your greatest personnel. And then all of a sudden, the majority of four directors from La Jolla ISD, and I think something needs to be done with that. You cannot have a majority when there's only seven positions. There should be one entity per agency to be fair. So anyway, they removed him, demoted him, and now they got Mr. Cerda. He hasn't served a year, and they started telling him, well, you know, we got to replace you. Why is that? Mr. Cerda is an engineer. He has at least 12 years of experience. Is that right, Cyril? Maybe more? 18. And he has been planning uh, in the planning business in Mission. He has been city engineer in Mission. He has a lot of <laughs> wonderful things he has done. He is an accomplished man. And now the new board wants to kick him out. I want to know, and I think everybody must know, what are the qualifications of the people that you are going to put in? What do they have? I think this position must have at least 15 years of experience, and since you are putting sewer water, a sewer system and all that stuff, which I don't really like, there should be somebody that is experienced in that also. It's about time for to wrap it up. Okay. Just wanted to make sure you take your oath for the people to serve the people. Well, please, with conscience, with your conscience, do that. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you Mark. The next person that signed in, Delia Peña. Thank you, and uh, thanks to the board for your work and the past board members too, that they had brought up our special to uh, a better company than what we had experienced before. I don't know what your agenda is, and we cannot comment on it, but I can tell you of my past experience on our own cost that cost our family, our seven years of our life for justice on water rates, and also we prove ourselves in court. I believe we had seven courts in Austin until we got the court here in Edinburgh for our receivership. It's still a hurting experience because nobody believed in us that this could be changed. We did not have any water for La Jolla water. We did not have any money for La Jolla water and that had to be proven. And nobody backed us off, not even for a dollar to mail out illegal paperwork. So now we have new board members, and this is starting all over again. What experience do you have over Mr. Cerda, over Mr. Ochova? What do you have? I didn't know about this problem that was going to happen. Only that only because of Channel 4 brought it up. And this is not fair to us, nor to the members of Water Rate. We're expecting more from you because everything is established through the court orders, through grants, not through your time, not through your money, not through your families. So this have to come to an end that you are a better person than what you are have against the people that had been working our special. And I don't have to tell you again, this had cost us a lot. And now you're gonna bring it down just because of a political party the way it was? That's not fair to us, because we had members from the other end of Sullivan that they didn't have water for seven years. Now we have the water, but we have to pay for it. We have a system that nobody had, an old system. We were in the third world, people without water. So 
if you think you're better than the other people that have the experience of professional, prove it. Prove it today, prove it tomorrow. Because we had proven ourselves for a better community, for better rates, to have the qualifications of that being in the third world. And we were not embarrassed that they talked about us. Nobody helped us. We were not embarrassed at all. We were screamed in Austin before Texas Water Development Board for no reason. And they were told they have to apologize to us. So I don't know what your agenda is. I cannot comment on that, but what we had gone through. And thank you very much for the time. And I'm Delia Pena. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, I don't know where you signed in just to use this on the public comment. Yet, but I'll, I'll go ahead and say something. I am Espio Choa, and I am a, a county resident that pays water taxes here in our area. All I would ask of all of you is that we unify as one voice. Unity. Ms. Peña stated it correctly. Unless our infrastructure gets better, the only way is for adults' behaviors to change. And we need to think and reflect that. Not what's best for our own thinking, but what's best for others. And I leave you those thoughts. Thank, Thank you, you. ma'am. Lydia, I don't know where you signed up for public comments or just, just signed in. I, no, I, I got Etsy signed in. Oh, okay, because it's a, this is under public comments. I can say something to you want to? Okay, yes, ma'am. Yes. You signed in, too. <laughs> yes, my name is Nidia Benavides, and uh, everything I've been hearing right now, I'm not a candidate. I'm not a, I'm just a taxpayer. I own several properties. I've dealt very many years with La Jolla Water Supply. Never in our lives have we ever had to go through what is going on today. And what's more ashamed right now that I'm seeing is that a lot of these people are teachers putting the example to our kids out there, to our grandkids. Now that I'm a grandmother, it, 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 they're putting an example to our grandkids. You know, people trust in these people thinking that they're going to come in here and do a better job. I talk very high, I, I think very highly of Mr. Ochoa. And I think he's done a good job. And not only him, I have met and dealt with Mr. Cerda. And I myself say, we the people need to do something. Because we the people will be the victims of what is going to go on here in La Jolla Water Supply. And that is all I have to say. My name is Bob Cano, and I'm, kind, I'm, I'm in a rather strange place because I don't, I've not, I've been here for two years, but I've not really been involved, and I should have been more so. Um, <laughs> I honestly, I was called because I really don't know why I'm here, but I wish all of you <laughs> the very best and get this thing solved. But. Action is probably a lot better than just delay, so that's all I've got. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Is there anybody else who didn't sign in but would like to say a few words before we start the meeting? Okay. Mr. Pena. My name's, uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is G.J. Pena, uh, and today I come to you guys as a developer and uh, as nothing else. I come here in support of Mr. Cerda and the job he's doing. And uh, I just, you know, you all take it for what it's worth. But uh, I think the majority of the people here, here because they care and they can see what happened to La Jolla water supply happening again. And none of us want to go through that. So again, I think you all have a very highly experienced person running. 
your your company, which you all run. And again, Mr. Sada, I wish you the best of luck. And I would like to, you know, congratulate you on what you do. Uh, keep your head up high, and we're here to support you in the job you're doing. I mean, I, it would be very hard to find somebody with experience that this gentleman has, and with a competence. So if there if there is a change coming, nobody's opposed to change, but just make sure it's somebody with a, at least a caliber that this man has. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, sir. Much. Anybody else? Okay, if not, I would just like to say a few words, not as a president, but just as a regular. I, I also pay, I was a, well, uh, I was a school administrator, retired in 2000. My wife passed away in 2009, so then I said, well, you know, maybe I need to get busy because this side of my mind is so busy. And so I said, I'm going to run for the, for the water board and try to do the very best thing that we can for experience in Paragua as well. As well. Okay, I've lived here all my life. I know a lot of you all here. You all know me personally well, know what I stand for. And I will always do the right thing. I'm a straight arrow. And I found out, you know, and everybody here knows that back about 15, 16 years ago, Palm U should have had sewer. But because of politics, like some of you stated, we lost sewer. Palm U, the way that it's growing, it could be bigger and more business and everything else, but it hasn't because all the way from Brownsville to Roma and even La Grulla, which is a little bit of town, has sewer, and Palm U does not have sewer. So in my mind, I'm saying we're going to work together <coughs> and try to go again to the Water Development Board, uh, uh, get some money, you know, get the help that we can, try to do all the work that we can do so that we're able to get money to, to try to provide sewer for, for the city of Palm. Because, because the city of Mission extended in BTJ, then we couldn't do a sewer plant, which we had planned to do a sewer plant for Agua, for, for, for the city of Palm. But Mr. Cerda, myself, and some of the attorneys and things, we start working with the mayor from, from Mission. And so he says, Mr. Ochoa, I cannot allow you to do a sewer plant in the city of Mission because I'm going to have two, two sewer plants. And certainly we can understand that because some people even hate one. Okay? But he says, what we can do is you do a big lift station and then you send the sewer to us and we'll treat it for you and we'll work out. And, and so we were, able, we were working real hard to do that with the attorneys and engineers and everybody else, administrative staff. And I hated to go down the drain. This young man, uh, very intelligent young man, and so forth. I don't have any problem with that. This young man here wanted to do the right thing, but so I think that sometimes the politics get involved. Okay, and I would hate for the Water Development Board to come to the same conclusion that they did 50, 60, 70 years ago and pull the money, and then you're out without sewer. And I talked to some engineers from the Water Development Board, and they told me, Mr. Ochoa, if it happens again. We'll pull the money, we'll give somebody else. I mean, we got people that want it, they're screaming for it, but you're getting it. But if you delay this project and so on and so forth, then we're gonna pull it and, you, and you're not gonna get, according to the state conditions right now, you're not gonna get sewer for the next 10, 15, 20 years. I wanna do the right thing and that's it. It doesn't make any difference. I've been president before. I've been the vice president, I've been treasurer. It doesn't make any difference to me to be president or not. I mean, I have just one vote like everybody else. But we wanna do the right thing. Now. For the past existence of Agua and even for the West Lafayette Water Supply, I believe that when they structure the board, they're for one year. That's a policy that says it's for one year. And here we're trying to restructure the, the, the structure again in three months. Do you wonder about that? Why? This is what I'm saying. But that's it. I just want the public to know where I come from. Okay. Uh, so be that as it may. Now we go to agenda number two. Item number two, discussion and possible election on restructure of board officers for Agua Sot Board of Directors, President, Vice President, Secretary, and Treasurer. Your motion. Sir, uh, can I say something real quick? Yeah. Um, the reason why we want to restructure the board is because uh, our treasurer, I don't know if you guys know, but he has two warrants for his arrest. So just putting that out there, just so everybody knows. <coughs> He cannot leave the county to go get the proper training, so we need a restructure to get someone who can fulfill their, their, their duties as treasurer. That's the only reason why we're restructuring the board. There's a lot of rumors out here that make no sense to me. What does, what does that have to do with, with La Jolla uh, uh, District here in Awasad? It makes no sense to me. So I hope you guys know why we're trying to restructure the board. Nothing to do with, with Ochoa. I nominated him for president. I know he has the experience, but 
we need to restructure the board because of that reason. So I hope all of you know why I'm doing this and why we're doing this. Thank you. Okay. Well, do I have a motion about the restructure? Well, I make a motion to uh, nominate uh, for president uh, Rogelio Hernandez. Okay, a motion can be made to name uh, Rogelio Hernandez as president. president. Do I have a uh, second? No, let me comment also. My name is Ezequiel Ortiz Jr. Z. Uh, I was against, uh, I was the only one opposed uh, Mr. Ochoa here being president when we first, when I was sworn in, in our first meeting. And uh, he has put our, my personal family and myself and my name through the dirt in the last three meetings that uh, the board is telling me what to, the school board or the school is telling me what to do. And in absolutely no way, shape, or form have I talked to any school board member and any sh anything for any reason. And you keep you continue to put my name through the dirt and my family, and I will not accept that. I was uh, I was for you being the president, even though at first I was against it. But then you came out on the news on Friday and did it, and I don't think that that's a proper person we should have leading our, our uh, board here. I think that's just an excuse. No, it's not. It's the actual truth. Because, because, like because everybody knows here. The public okay. knows. The public knows who's okay. in control. I would like to anyway, let's can, go. I make, can I make some comments? Yeah. Uh, I know that they were saying that there's influence from the outside, from board members or from other people. Um, as an educator, I tell you right now, I'm straightforward. I'm not going to do anything that I wasn't supposed to or get influenced by anybody to make any decision or anything that uh, people think that we're going to do. Uh, the only thing is the same thing. You There was my name run through the dirt, dirt in special education, which is in the minutes that I was taking bribes, which I have not taken a single bribe, and they can look at me anytime. They can look at whatever I have. Also, I have not done anything to approve an item just because uh, we need to. What we are here is to provide the best services for our. That's why. That's what we're here for. Not to be giving jobs to certain people or to certain, that's, that's what I have to say. Mr. And in that case, I will second oh, Mr. Hold on, hold on. I'm just going to point some out from just a legal perspective. There's not a vacancy. Um, so we can't make a motion to appoint somebody as president when there's a sitting president. Okay. 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 So what the rules provide, uh, our bylaws say that, that there is an appointment, that there's an election for one year. Okay. Now, it does not say that the board can't remove somebody. It does not say that they can't. Okay. But it, what it does say is that you appoint somebody, you elect an officer for a year, unless there's a vacancy, okay? And if there's a vacancy, then there is, uh, th then that's another way that a, a, a new officer could be appointed. And so until there's a vacancy, it would be, uh, from a procedural standpoint, you, you can't appoint a second. Okay, so what are we gonna do uh, about our treasurer, about, about, about uh, Mr. Francisco Flores, that he can't attain our training? Because we're going to start getting penalized for that. Well, what I'm saying is that the board would have the authority to consider removing an officer and then deliberate that, and then if there was a motion made, it could be voted on. But until that takes place, uh, until that takes place, then there's no vacancy to fill. Okay, so how do, well, what are the steps for that? To the next board meeting, or can we do that right now? Matt, if, if because of what they stated about uh, the treasurer, that he's been indicted or whatever. Uh, I, mean, I don't think he's been indicted, has he? What's that? Uh, has the treasurer been, been indicted? Oh, yes, all, 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 been, go all that's been yes, taken up. All that's been taken up right now. There was a motion to appoint somebody as. Uh, I, I think Mr. Hernandez as president. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. And so that's that's all. That's the motion. That's, that's yeah. That, that's right. All I'm saying is that until that position becomes vacant, so then, then you can't nominate someone to fill that position. Is what I'm saying. And so. And they might have the wish here in a few, maybe. A few What's weeks. That? And they might have that wish in a few, in a few weeks. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. Uh, you, you must understand. The board has the power to take all action uh, in furtherance of its business. So if, if the board was to take action to remove uh, somebody from an office, then, the board, then there would be a vacancy. And then the board could take action to fill it. Okay. Didn't I just state that? I stated it like two, three times already for the removal of treasure. 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 Oh, 
Okay, ma'am, but. Okay, I'm not going to sit here uh, stand here and argue with you guys. They're the people, we're the taxpayers. We want to know. That I, or uh, professionalism and. Uh, yes. That's pretty much professionalism. And, def and, uh, and also uh, defamation of character, ma'am. Right. Yeah. That is against the law. That he stated that we were corrupt. It's called no, defamation. I didn't say that. Uh, yes, you did, sir, in the minutes. I stated that you all it's were called, controlled if you know, by the uh, district. That's, that's what it is. It's called it defamation of character. That's what it is. When it's, it is against You're the law. You're telling me that I'm doing wrong. In our minutes. Uh, that's it's not against the law. That's is there somebody opinion. here in law, actual attorney? Is it against yeah. the law? Defamation of character. I'm not defamation. Here we go. Here we go. Here we have board members that have been here only for three months, and all they have done is fire and hire. Who was that? Is, who, that a, is who, that a fact or not? Who have we fired and hired? Who have we fired and hired? Who have we fired? Sir, who have we fired and hired? Who have we fired? Who have we fired or, or hired? The, 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 the engineer. And he was rated number one by you all, too. We removed, we asked for bid, but uh, there hadn't been a. Okay, Mr. Just so we can get that clear. Presently, we have Mr. Honorable Senator Shirino Jose. Mr. Jose, I know we started an agenda, but would you like to say a few words? No, the no. Okay, we're in no, the public comments. Senator, <laughs> you were the one that did this call. Yeah, turn it to a cut. You did Circus it with good intentions to you? and everything can I speak to, you? to protect us and have a good okay. water system managed by professional people. It's not happening now. And we, the taxpayers, are saying, sir, with all respect, please, no four people should be voted in when they belong to one entity. That should be one of the requirements. Not even two, because you only have seven positions. There should be a complete representation of everybody. Not one entity. Okay, right now we're having okay. an opening. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Mr. 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 Uh, we're on agenda no. item number two. No. And agenda item two is discussion and possible action on the restructure of the board officers. Okay. Well, the, the motion that was made okay. to uh, appoint uh, Roger Hernandez as president, and I believe we had a second by whom? Nobody did. Well, Nobody. Yeah. Before, the sec before the second came in, yeah, sir. before the second came in, I advised the board that there is not a vacancy of the president. Mm -hmm. And so until there's a vacancy, then there cannot be a new president appointed as the, the bylaws uh, okay. read right now, and, and according to uh, procedure. Okay, so then? Well, if, if, if the, the, if the board wants to entertain a motion on item number two that would take action that it's authorized to do, then, then the board can do that. Um, if there's any action that it wants to take, or consider and deliberate. Action. One, two. No action is going to be no. taken. Uh, I'll do it. I right, motion to remove Mr. Ochoa as president. Second. Okay, uh, Mr. Zico Pierce made a motion to remove uh, Ricardo Ochoa as president, seconded by Roger Hernandez. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. All those against? Me. Aye. Aye. Okay, motion carries. Let, let, let's see. I, I didn't. How many for? How many against? Four. Two. How many for? Raise your hands. Four. Two against. And, uh, and against? Two. Four votes. Then you're not voting. I'm staying. Oh. Okay. So then, so now, uh, now we need a, a motion. There's, there's a vacancy. And okay. item number two would, would include the restructuring of the board, including uh, replacement of the president. Okay. So that's, that's an open eye. Okay, so then we need another motion. If somebody was to make a motion, it could be considered. <laughs> I guess I put my motion back in there. I just the, 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 the forum is open for motions on items reasonably within uh, the interpretation of item number two. So. so it doesn't matter what the people want? So make a motion on uh, what, what was that? So it doesn't matter what the people want? No, no. So
sir, sir. You, you can make a motion. I mean, there's now a vacancy okay. uh, in the office of the presidency. Okay. And so the board would, in, in my view, item number two uh, is sufficient notice for the board to take action to fill any vacancy. Okay, I'll make a motion uh, for president for Rogelio Hernandez. I'm going out and Senator Hinojosa, please take care of this. The so I made a motion. Okay, what was the motion? Motion to appoint uh, Rogelio Hernandez for president. For uh, vacant uh, spot. Uh, I'm not the president anymore, so then the vice president takes over? That is correct. Go ahead. Uh, Homer. 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 Now, am I remote the board member also or not? I don't know. <laughs> 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 so, so there's a motion. There's a motion that's been made. A motion being made for uh, Rogelio Hernandez for president. Yes. Uh, and second. 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 I second. Second by Judge Loya. All in favor, second by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Zero. One Zero. opposed. Two opposed. For the record. How many, I, I didn't see how many were voting. Four. Four against. Two. Four and two against. Wait, wait, wait. One. Mr. Hernandez, did you vote? Are you entitled yes. to vote? You voted? Okay, so Mr. Loya, Mr. Hernandez, Mr. Ortiz, and Mr. Rodriguez voted for? Four to two. Motion passes. He takes over or keep on going? Uh, he does. He does. I, I don't think it's not necessary. It is not necessary. Yeah, just stay right there. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Any nominations for vice president? We would have to remove again. Well, yeah. That, no, but no. No. Okay. no. There's a vacancy for a secretary. I uh, would make a motion for a secretary. Who, who, who resigned as secretary? How old is secretary? Oh. Oh. secretary. Do you resign? So now there's a vacancy. I nominate uh, Lloyd Loya for a secretary. Okay. Second. <coughs> we have a second. All in favor? Take a vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Against? Two. No, I'm treasure. For treasure? How does it feel? It's, it's, it's filled? No. The spot, the spot is not vacant. I nominate. Uh, I need a motion one. for for treasure. I want to entertain a motion to remove uh, Mr. Francisco Flores from Treasurer. Second that motion. Second for Mr. Tessa. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. Remove. We have an empty same, spot. Same. Mr. Loya, Mr. Hernandez, Max. Mr. Ortiz, and Mr. Rodriguez? Yes. Okay. And any and against? Against. Okay. And <laughs> Mr. Fiorina, abstain? Abstain. I make a motion. Uh, I need a motion. We have an empty okay. treasure spot. What? I, I want to. I nominate Zico Ortiz for treasure. Second. On the paper. So a motion and a second to nominate Mr. Ortiz as treasurer of the Agua Special Utility District. Time for a vote. All in favor? All in favor? Aye. Five. All opposed? All opposed. Motion. Five to two. Motion passes. Item number three. Discussion of possible action on the North Strait Service Agreement 30 year letter for water service to be submitted to Amador Hernandez for the cost related to the water services for Reese Subdivision, Lot 9. Adan. Uh, yeah, Amador, but on the, on the level subdivision number two. This is the one for the meters, no? The this is a uh, yes, sir. Uh, this is for an Adan subdivision. This is a uh, lot nine, the reach subdivision of lot nine for an Adan subdivision. Mm -hmm. This is for final approval. Uh, this is a 30 year letter that's presented before you. Uh, this is standard operating procedures on this, and uh, we recommend approval. Uh, I need a motion. Motion. Second motion. Motion, motion by Mr. Homer Tequerina, second by Mr. Jesus, Mr. Tulbo. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. All opposed? All opposed. Thank you. Discussion of possible action to award bid 
the lowest mold responsible bidder, East EDAP Palmview Water Wastewater Collection System Phase 1 Group BF as reviewed by the legal recommendation by project manager and executive director. Yes, sir. We've got Mr. Reddy here that will give us a little presentation on the, on the bids that were presented. Mr. President and board members, good evening. Uh, today, I would like to present the uh, bid results for the Palm View Wastewater Collection System, Phase 1, Group B and F. Um, on September 9th, uh, 10.35 a.m., we opened the bids, and we received two bids. Uh, one is from uh, Spice Construction from California, and one from uh, LNG Construction from, from Bestaco. Uh, um, yeah, I missed it, sorry. Uh, so we reviewed the bid documentation that was provided to us, and we made our recommendation. Uh, we reviewed all the documents that were presented, and we made some phone calls to all the previous uh, work that was done by the, the, the LNG construction. Uh, the, the lowest bid from, was from LNG, uh, so we had to call all the, all the representatives that, that, were in, that were included in their bid. So based on our uh, review of the bid documents, we would like to recommend the LNG construction as the low bidder and responsible to do the work. Uh, we gave the document to Mr. Sardar's office. Uh, we submitted the bid documents, uh, the recommendation letters, uh, and all that information is submitted to, to our office for your consideration. Staff concurs with SMB infrastructure, and uh, we also recommend uh, LNG construction for the low bid. In the previous meeting, I believe you were asked to give us the uh, change orders and yes, uh, yes, sir. I'm sorry. Uh, so we specifically, since you're asking, sir, uh, regarding the the information on the change orders and everything, we went through the bid documents and in the financial section, uh, you know, section of this uh, bid, we have a two-page report where it which kind of uh, summarizes all the contracts uh, that they have, and I made some printouts here, just. Uh, this is part of the bid package that you all received and that we had there. So it's in there, uh, if you go to the second page. This is the first page we have. <coughs> Thank you, Rudy. Uh, on, the, on the bid package, on the, those two documents were taken out from the bid package itself from LNG Construction. So in that, in that document, we see these columns of the projects that were done, basically Schedule 2, which are the original contract and the amended contract. You will see the totals down there, and it tells you the difference between the, what has been originally awarded, what was the amended contract. So that gives you the difference of uh, uh, close to 2.7%. Uh, so that's the, that's the information that we found from this uh, bid package. Ready. Yes. What were the, the, the two bids? One is from Spice Construction and one is from LNG Construction. Uh, the bid amounts are 10.141 10 from LNG and 14.386 from Spice Construction. Okay, can you tell me why there's so much of a gap? That's like $4 million there. Yeah, uh, we, we reviewed the bid documents to see where we are in terms of changes. Uh, uh, the, there are a couple of items that they're higher than the other bidders. And in our bid tabulation, we kind of showed us the difference in the way uh, the, these contractors are different in terms of the pricing. And one of them is obviously from out of the area, and one is a local bidder, and that might have played a part in it as well. And uh, so we, you can see the bid tabulation where each item has been identified to see what kind of bid we are receiving from them. Okay, so you're telling me that they're gonna charge us $4 million because they're from San Antonio or what? Is that is that what you're telling me? La, la, that's the bid we received from them. Oh, okay. And it all depends on uh, what kind of bid they're proposing at that time. Uh, I had a question with their attorney. Is there anything, litigation and stuff like that regarding LNG? Okay, I, I don't know that. I have been advised today that there may be a question about whether or not LNG is, an, is a claimant. One, one of the items on the uh, bid form was to disclose whether or not you have been, essentially whether or not you've been sued or you're, you're being sued. And 
I don't know LNG. I'm not familiar with them. I don't know if they're involved in litigation. I understand that, that, that they may be from, you know, people who mentioned that in the community. There's something with Kinesis. I'm not familiar with it, but it's, it's certainly uh, a question that, that merits, uh, you know, consideration. I mean, because they answered no, that, that they have not been sued. Now, it doesn't say, are you involved in any litigation? And there's a big difference, believe me. Uh, getting sued versus suing somebody is, is, is a big difference. And, and so, for instance, if, if they had sued somebody to collect monies owed, that no would be an accurate answer as they answer there. But if they have been sued, uh, then that would not be uh, an accurate answer as I've reviewed it uh, in the bid when, when it came to my attention 10 minutes before the board meeting. So that's, that's pretty much all. So, Mr. Senator, are you familiar with LNG? Do you know of any litigation? Or I, I have heard. No, I'm asking Mr. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I believe that there is a litigation that uh, with the city of Phoenix as well. <laughs> Do you know what that's so, about? Well, I don't want to. I'm not too sure about the, the exact. I just don't want to rush into. I mean, people have waited 15 years for for this sewer, and then to rush into it like that. I mean, I don't want. I want to make the best decision that we can. No, and, and, and no, that, that's right. right. Well, being that answer affect us in, in the long run as far as contract. Or Texas Water Development Board denying us the funds or anything okay, like that? Okay, so good question. And so let, let me let me kind of back up and, and put it in this format. The Water Development Board, you know, a year ago, and, and Reddy might be able to tell us because they uh, they did basically the scheduling. You know, last year, early this year, I should say, they asked to pro us to provide them with an updated schedule. You know, because <laughs> what they don't want are those funds sitting around for a long period of time. Okay. I'm shooting completely from memory, but I want to say that when we last gave them a schedule that we told them we thought we'd be out to bid in June. So yeah. we're a few months behind. Is that close to right? Yeah, that's, that's approximate, yes. Okay. All right. So we're, we're a little bit behind, but as, as the board points out, it would not be reasonable to rush into a decision if there was an issue of material question uh, that, that existed. I can't tell you that it is or is not material. If, if a... If, if an entity has a history of tons of lawsuits, that certainly may, may be a material consideration. Mm -hmm. And under the bid requirements, uh, a bid may be declared invalid if there's a material misrepresentation in, in the, the bid documents. What I need to caution you, though, is that, uh, that, that the, I think that this is a local company, that it is the only, of, of the only two bids we've got, it's the only one within the budget that we have, okay? And so that's a consideration that, that you need to think about when deciding whether or not, you know, what action the board wants to do as far as accept this bid. You know, one thing the board could do would, would be to accept it subject to a review of what is this litigation that's going on out there. That's one thing they could do. Because one thing, what's supposed to happen next, if, for instance, the board was to approve the, the, the bid tonight, then uh, Reddy would turn around and submit that application with his approval to the Water Development Board for their consideration. And I also think a USDA ultimately has to approve it. Not That's this one? No. Not this one. Okay. By the way, uh, we've already submitted to the Water Development Board according to what they've requested. Am I correct? No. Not, not, yet. Yet. not, yet. not yet. Not until the board approves okay. Not yet. So the, the board could approve it, you know, subject to, you know, uh, an instruction to somebody to go look into that and find out what it is and report back to the board. Um, and then that way, uh, you know, ready to move forward and submit that information to the Water Development Board with that caveat. Um, or the board could decide to, to take, you know, any other action, which would include invalidating the bid and starting over at the risk that we're going to push the project, you know, again, you know, would have to rebid. We're talking about several months down the road. Ready? How many bids came in? Two bids. I mean, it's kind of weird that a project this big and only have two two bids. I mean, I, I would I would think companies would come in to bid for that. Um, I need a motion. I don't know. What do y'all want to do? I want to make a motion. <coughs> so, ready on on this uh, form you give us here? I don't see the Palm View project here. I mean the Benito project, sorry. So that's uh, that's probably the last, uh, the current running projects are, should be chased on, the, on that one. Sorry about this noise. Good. 
construction progress. And on the, on the title itself, it says construction progress. <coughs> so, as of this, so that's probably the reason. No, but we, we, we asked what for, this is what's happening right now, correct? Yes. Okay, we asked you for change orders in the previous uh, contracts that they had already before. Yeah, yeah. In the previous projects that they've done, that's what we asked for you from the last meeting. Yeah, yeah we, we are allowed to review the <coughs> bid document that we received from who are the contractors. So we reviewed only the bid documents that, were, that we got from them. So that's the basis for all the recommendations we do on the bid. a motion to go forward with the contract with the bid while checking as far as any uh, suits or anything. What, it's what clear we could do we would forward. be to, for instance, the board could ask legal counsel to determine the status of any litigation. Yes. Uh, yes. Authorize me to meet with the uh, bidder, for instance, or have communication with them and then do my own investigation and then report back to the board at the next meeting or something like that. I have a motion. I have a motion. I need a second. What was your motion? motion? Motion to go forward with the bid, bid, but as far as the attorney, if you want to repeat it, Matt. To approve it subject to uh, the council's so review of the question of, of open litigation with the. So is that, that going to delay the project, like phase one, or is it what? Is it gonna well, it what's the delay on that? In, in it is likely to be the fastest way to, to, way to keep it on track. Yeah, because otherwise, if the board takes no action, then Reddy can't take the information to the development board, and then we would have the same item on the agenda at the next meeting. Now, of course, during that time, we could go and try to find that out, you know, what it is. Uh, but to see if we can move forward. Yeah, so, so that would be one option. Another option would be to make a motion to approve it subject to uh, legal counsel reporting back to the president or any committee that the board might appoint to consider whether or not that's a material issue or not. Uh, I'll stop a little bit. First, we have to approve the crossings through the irrigation district first, correct? Uh, no, not, not for the bids. Uh, that, that's but to get the, the phase one started. Yeah, to but get it started. We have right. to get that done first, correct? Yeah, now remember, approving this <coughs> bid by the Water Development Board is a step before anybody puts a shovel in the ground. Okay, okay. so um, you are correct, and before the shovels hit the dirt, that's something that we'll need to have worked out, and we're working on that. But as far as approving the bids, so Reddy would be authorized to seek the Water Development Board's approval. Um, that's something that could be done today if the board wanted to do that. I have a motion. I second the motion. I have a second. All in favor? Say aye. 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 Just all against? Just, just so the reason, because it's on camera yeah. and everything. So good. One, two, three, four. How many? Four, four, four in favor. Motion passes. Motion passes. <coughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, Reddy. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, item number five: discussion of possible action to select an of an uh, agent of record medical insurance from submitted RFQs presented by Texas Government Code two two five four zero zero four and authorized to negotiate a contract. Yes, sir. Uh, we. You've received all the uh, RFQs? Yes, sir. Some, yes, uh, sir. And we have the sheets. Uh, can you pass them on? Can you pass them on, please? Mm -hmm. We have the matrix for the insurance company. That, um, Thank you, sir.
fingers are done, if you can just lay them up front, I'll just pick them up. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm still working on it. I'm still working on my remote. You're gonna calculate them over here, or I calculate my own. Well, one thing we what we could do is while he's tabulating that, we could you could move to okay. go to the next item and then recall it. So okay. <coughs> we need a motion, a second, and a vote to do that. I need a motion to move to item number six. Motion. I have a motion by Mr. Tejerina. I need a second. Second. Second by Mr. Ortiz. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Item number six, discussion of possible action uh, approving contract with CH Group for Iowa Suds engineer Thank and you. retainer authorized to executives such contract. I need a motion. Well, uh, I know the so committee met. Okay, so at the last at the last meeting, there was uh, the, the contract was ranked. Yes. One was uh, listed as number one. Then there was a committee that was appointed to negotiate a fair and reasonable contract. I understand that that meeting has taken place. I understand that the, that the term that was negotiated was $4,000. They turned around and submitted a contract uh, for, for our review, and there are some 
questions I need to present back to the board as far as you know what was negotiated here, what was discussed here. There, for, for instance, uh, there's uh, some differences in the insurance uh, that was provided. Um, and, and so I, I need to get some direction uh, from the board on what was, or from the committee on what was discussed. If I was the retainer fee for the new engineering firm, for the new one? Uh, yeah, but what was it? I've been told it was four thousand dollars. Is, is that correct? And, I think and Mr. Theodorina and I think was Mr. Engineer Ortiz. Prior, the engineer prior, how much it was? Thirty-two hundred. <coughs> what was the last year they were they did the retainer? What was the year? Thirty-two hundred. Yeah, when, but when but was when's the last year that uh, the contract was thrown? You're talking about like two thousand seven, right? When we had Sam? Two thousand nine. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, two thousand nine. The same company has been here since two thousand nine. Nobody has ever bid. Another company has ever bid for it. And we finally sent out for bid packages, and that's why we have this situation here. Just so all of you know what's going on. Yeah. Okay? They've been here since 2009. We've time for a change. For eight years, it's been the same engineer. We rated them, and yeah. the same engineer came in first. The guy got interviewed. Just for the record. It didn't come up first. It was the three the, top. No. Mm -hmm. Came in first. The first one that's been here since 2008, Sam's Engineering. Sam's and they had never gone out for for, for eight 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 years. Years. yes. Eight years. Eight years. Eight years. CSJ. 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 Yeah. Yes, but you're talking about ten years. Two thousand nine from two thousand nine. Or eight eight years. No, we we just don't pay that fee. We also pay work that they do. <coughs> They, they do contracts and they do in-house projects for us. And the thing is, so that's they, why, go ahead. No, they rebid it as well. Sam engineers rebid it. So it wasn't the same amount. They still had to negotiate contracts. Because even though they were rated first, they were not, they did not, they not negotiate with the, ah, the they one that came on top. That's the truth. I need a motion. Okay, well, okay, so th there's not a contract. <coughs> I mean, what, what I've got to do is, you know, for instance, you know, and this is an item, since it's a contract negotiation that we can take in the executive session, okay? Yeah, I need because I need to understand what the negotiated terms were, so I can put that into the contract. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it. so that that's where we are on that. You know, as soon as as soon as y'all tell me, okay, yeah, here's what the deal was, then I put the contract together and it gets approved. But I I I've got to ask some questions uh, of the. I need a motion to board. go into executive session. I make a motion to uh, go to executive session at three no, seven oh five. Second. And, uh, Under uh, article, what was it? Article attorney client privilege. Attorney client privilege. Hmm? Attorney, attorney, attorney what? Attorney client privileges. Attorney attorney so forth. I second. So we'll move. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.